Well, hello, kitten fans. Welcome to another episode of Keeping Up With The Kittens. So as you can tell, it is pretty quiet in here today. Um, so today was surgery day for the fosters in this room. Um, so I was gonna kind of walk you through that and kind of let you know what we do as fosters for our kittens when it is their surgery day and answer any questions that you might have um, and kind of show you what to expect, what to do when you foster with HPA. Um, so if you've been following, we have uh, Tulip, who is a mother cat in here, and then we have six kittens. Um, one of the first requirements for them to have surgery is their weight. So they have to be two pounds or a thousand grams. And that's super important. Um, it's just the minimum weight that they can be because it, it is a surgery. So it's very, um, you know, it's an invasive thing. And so we want them to be able to have enough body weight and everything to help them with the recovery. Um, so the weight is super important. Actually, the guy in front right now, Blue, he is the little gray one and he is kind of the runt of the litter. He did not get his surgery done today because he did not meet that minimum weight. So um, everyone else went and got spayed and neutered and so he'll just kind of hang out a little bit longer with me as he continues to gain his weight. But everyone else went and had surgery today so um, what that looks like is we get up super early. We have to pull the food by five o'clock. That's their last meal that they can have. And then I pull the food, they can still have water. And then I load everybody up in their kennels. Everyone gets labeled and there's a paper form that they want you to fill out. And then we go down to HPA and we check them in. So they do the surgery and then you pick them up in the afternoon um, between three and four o'clock. So when you get them home, as you can see, it's pretty quiet. So I'm gonna kind of go around the room and show you where all the kittens are. Um, Cause some of them are sleeping, some of them are um, eating right now, someone's cleaning right now. So we're gonna go on a little trip. So excuse all the shakiness. So there is Shadow. She's over there cleaning. She's the only, well, the only female kitten. Tulip is obviously a female, but this is the only female kitten. So she's doing a little grooming. Um, this was Blue on the right. He did not get neutered. And then there's Grady. As you can tell, he's pretty alert, he's active, he, you know, he's, he's doing pretty well. Um, the other ones, let's go over here. So as you can see, I take down my cat tree. You're supposed to limit their activity after surgery. Um, and since I can't really take everything out, I just try to limit the height and the, how they use it. So it's not putting a strain on them or anything. So here's two of the guys in here that are snoozing. So that is Michael on the right and then Graham on the left. Both of those are boys, so they got neutered. So they're doing well. Blue's just chilling. He was very upset today because he was by himself. <laughs> so I think he was a little kind of more emotionally stressed. So there's great Grady. So he's kind of cleaning himself and wondering where all his stuff went. <laughs> and then Mittens is over here. So they are allowed to eat afterward. I don't give them the full meal. And then Miss Tulip is over there and she's not happy with any of them. So anytime they go near her, um, she kind of hisses at them. So what I was gonna do is kind of also show you what their surgery site looks like and show you what that looks. So I'm going to attempt to put the camera back on my stand and then flip it around. So let's see if I can get that done. Hello everybody. So we're gonna put that down there and then I'm gonna grab Grady because he's the most um, He's kind of the most alert and he's pretty easy going. So he's a little male, so we're gonna get a little close to his stuff. So have a little anatomy lesson. So as you can see there, there's his, his bits down there, his scrotum. So they just do a little incision on, on that, take out the necessary parts. Um, and it's actually just kind of left open um, and it kind of drains. They do some stuff with some surgical glue. And if you notice, there's a green, this part right here 
it's a little green tattoo, so to help other people kind of identify that he has been neutered and taken care of. So, um, but that's kind of what it looks like. Um, so not a lot to it. So the boys, the boys kind of have it easy. So you can see the kind of crusty stuff on there, that's surgical glue, and that's normal. So this is a normal, you know, day of surgery site. And so they'll send home papers with you to kind of make sure you keep an eye on everything. They're not supposed to have baths. Um, so they keep everything in check, um, but it just, it heals. I've never had a problem. Our staff is amazing with their surgery. Um, so you just keep an eye on it, make sure nothing gets a little crazy. Now the girls, let me see if Shadow will let me demonstrate on her. Come here, Miss Thing. The girls are a little bit more invasive. So here's Shadow, she's our only female kitten. So you can see they shave her tummy and they make the little incision site right there. Now they do suture it up and they um, do that and they do cover it with surgical glue. So it's gonna look a little, a little crusty. And then they also do the little tattoo right there. And it's just another indication um, to whichever vet or whoever in the future said, yes, this cat has undergone surgery. Cause sometimes you don't, um, you don't feel their scar or you don't see it once all their hair and everything grows back. So this is another way to identify it. Um, so it's gonna look a little poochy and, and everything. So as long as it's not oozing blood coming out or, or anything like that, but I've never had any, um, any issues, like I said. So, um, so that's them and so they are doing really well with their recovery. But if you have any questions um, about the surgery, about what we do, um, how long it takes for them to heal, um, any experiences that you've had with it, feel free to put those down in the comments and um, I can answer those or we can discuss it and talk about it. Um, but if not, I'm gonna turn it around, the camera back around and we're kind of watch them. They're a little active, so we're not gonna get a lot, of, um, a lot of busyness out of them. But if you have any questions about these guys, about the surgery, anything else, put those in the comments and we will um, talk about those. So let me flip the camera back around. Let's see here, we'll try to do it real quick. Let's see. So we'll put that back there. Let me go back through and look through some of the comments. Oh, sure, Robert. So this one is blue. Here you go, buddy. I don't know if that's a good camera angle. I have it flipped around so I can't see the screen. But he's my little male. So he's just a little guy. So he's gaining weight. He's just gaining it on his own time. So he's just gonna need about another week or two to get to that, um, that two pounds that we were talking about before to get to that surgery weight. So you can see the size difference between shadow and blue right there. Um, the difference in size, right? Well, you can hear them hissing too. As we're watching, if you're just now joining us, we had surgery today, so that's why everyone's really calm. They're doing a lot of bathing, um, you know, as it probably feels weird with the sutures and everything, um, which is normal. We just want to make sure that as um, fosters, that we keep an eye on that and that they don't over groom that area um, or irritate it because they can pick at that surgical glue spot or um, they can't really get to the sutures. The sutures are all under the skin the way that they do it. Um, but they can over groom it and um, cause some irritation and possibly lead to infection. So that's something that we have to keep an eye on. But I know this isn't our most active keeping up with the kittens, but please give us some thumbs up or some stars, some hearts. Make sure you share this with your friends and family. Um, so this is getting them closer to being adoption ready. So these guys are not adoptable yet, but you can check out our website at HoustonPetsAlive.org 
and there is a button that you can click on to see all of our available cats and kittens and those guys are available today um, but these guys will not be um, tonight one of the things that I'll be working on is doing their bio so we'll take some pictures I'll write a little um, summary of them and kind of talk about their personality things that they may like things that I've noticed about them and then they'll probably go to the pet store this weekend um, but they are not a currently available right now but the best thing to do is to go ahead and get that application in and see what kittens are on the website that are available Grady back over here. They're all wanting to be by me because they want their cuddle time. <laughs> They're feeling a little, a little neglected today. So let's see if Grady will sit right there with his brother. No, they're hissing. <laughs> Maybe not. So if you are just now joining us, it is a quiet night in the kitten room. Um, everybody, except for Blue, right there in the front, had surgery today. So they are all kind of recouping and taking it easy. Um, the key after surgery is not to be super active. And so that's why you kind of see the cat tree in the back is laying over on its side. Um, I try to take away um, a lot of the toy, like the jingle toys and all that kind of stuff, all the stuff that they can chase. Um, I leave um, their bedding and things to hide in um, just because it makes them feel a little bit more secure if they want to go um, kind of hole up somewhere and just kind of sleep and, and sleep it off. So that's why it's um, quiet right now in our room. So they're all kind of recovering. But if you have any questions about kind of the process of the surgery, like what we do as fosters, um, what we do for the kittens to help them after recovery. Um, if you have any questions about becoming a foster, anything like that, put those down in the comments and I will get back to that. But some of the key things that we do as fosters um, is to help them get to the surgery weight, which is two pounds or a thousand grams. And that's really important. We don't want them to be any smaller than that because it is surgery and it's a serious risk. Um, so we want to make sure that they have enough, um, you know, that they're big enough to help recover from it. Like we don't want them so tiny um, and everything be so delicate on their surgery. So we want them to have enough weight and meat to them that they can um, recover well from it. But while they were at surgery, so they got the last of their vaccinations, they were microchipped. They received their last um, part of their, oops, knocked into the camera. They received their last uh, deworming and their flea medication. So they received quite a bit on surgery day. So they, they, had, they had a busy day. But we'll go take a look at, we'll go on a little, another little trip here. So here they are, they're waiting right there because they're looking at me. They want me to hold them because they're like, Mom, I had a rough day. So there's mittens. So there's my very technical setup <laughs> that I put the camera on. Very high dollar. Um, but there's those two guys. There is Miss Storm. So she's recovering from her spay. So she's doing very well. And then Graham and Michael are nestled down in there recovering. So they're doing really well, it's good. 
Um, some of them don't mind playing. As you can see, those two guys over there are kind of attempting to play and they're feeling pretty, pretty good after the surgery. Others like to sleep it off. So they will be, they will be good in the morning. There's Mr. Grady. So you can see they're, they're kind of hissing. They're like, I don't want to mess with you. So there they are. But if you have any questions, if you catch this on the repeat um, and have any questions about anything, please let me know. But thank you so much for joining us tonight. I know it wasn't super exciting, um, but it's one of those um, things that sometimes people are a little nervous about when they are fosters. And they're like, well, I don't know what to do after surgery. It seems a little scary. Um, but really, it's just giving them that place to relax, kind of calm down from everything, and just keep an, an eye on them. But thank you again for joining. And we will see you on Thursday evening. And that will probably be the last time that you will see this litter. Um, so they will be going to the pet store this weekend. And then I will disinfect the room, get everything straightened up, cleaned up get new stuff, and then get a new litter. So stay tuned.